Imagine you're out on your sailboat, tacking along at six knots, feeling pretty good about life, when suddenly a hundred foot Ferrari red monster flies past you, literally flies, foils out of the water. No engine sound, just slicing through the air like a Formula One car that somehow forgot what asphalt is. Yeah, Ferrari's building a sailboat, and not just any sailboat, this thing looks like it fell through a wormhole from the year 2050. Ferrari calls it the Hypersail, and it's their first ever sailboat. If that name sounds like something Iron Man would build, you're not far off because it's not a cruising boat. It's not even a racing boat in the traditional sense. It's an experimental, renewable energy, fully foiling, ocean-going monohull designed to fly above the waves. Think America's Cup meets Formula One, but with Ferrari's engineering budget and zero regard for your marina's draft limitation. So let's break this thing down. This hypersail is being developed in Italy, of course, with design help from Guillaume Verde, one of the biggest brains behind many of the world's fastest ocean racers. The project is led by legendary offshore sailor Giovanni Soldini, and Ferrari's calling it an expansion of their racing DNA, which is corporate speak for we got bored from going around in circles on asphalt and we wanted to go break physics somewhere else. Here's the wild part. It's roughly 100 feet long, over 60 feet wide, and about 130 feet tall with the stick up. But when it's sailing, most of that hull won't even touch the water. The boat rides on a three-point foiling system, one giant canting keel as a foil, and two stabilizing appendages that keep it flying level. Picture a full-size monohull, 100 feet long, but skipping over the waves like a stone. Ferrari says the entire hull and rig are built from carbon fiber, of course they are, and aerospace composites, pulling directly from their Formula One construction techniques, and they know a lot about that stuff. Every inch of it screams, this is not your granddad's Beneteau. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The hypersail has no engine, none at all. Ferrari wants it to be completely energy self-sufficient. They're combining solar panels, wind turbines, and kinetic energy recovery, basically turning the movement of the boat into usable electricity. And all of that power goes into a high voltage battery system, the same kind of tech that Ferrari uses in their hybrid hypercars like the SF90 Stradale. So you're looking at a 100 foot boat that could potentially cross oceans using nothing but the wind and its own clever engineering to keep every onboard system actually working. Ferrari's engineers say it's also a chance for them to experiment with autonomous control systems. This is a whole new thing in the sailing world and I think we need to pay attention. When you've got a 100 foot carbon fiber spaceship trying to fly on foils through the ocean waves, stability isn't just important, it's survival. They're building what they call smart trim algorithms that constantly adjust the foils and the rudders and the sails using a sophisticated network of sensors and computer logic that's borrowed from Ferrari's Formula One traction and aero control systems. So yeah, your boat might have a wind vane, but this one's got an onboard brain trained by F1 engineers. And before you think this must just be for the America's Cup, no. Ferrari's been very clear. It doesn't fit into any existing racing class. It's too wild, too different, and probably too fast. All they're calling it is an R&D platform, which basically means they're building a one-off proof of concept to see how far the technology can actually go, especially when it's backed by Ferrari money and Ferrari go fast know-how. That said, you know that how these things usually work out. Once one of these boats hits the water and starts blowing mines, someone's gonna start a new class to race against it. Now, of course, nobody knows what this thing will cost. Ferrari CFO has already said it won't strongly impact capital expenditure, which is billionaire talk for don't ask. But consider a carbon fiber 100 foot with foils and Ferrari's involvement, we're probably talking well into the tens of millions of dollars. And that's before you option it with cup holders. The launch is expected sometime in 2026, with sea trials happening somewhere on the Italian coast. 
They're keeping the exact build really secret. Ferrari says they want to make the team be able to work without distractions. But you know, it's also to keep photographers away from this crazy prototype stuff. And you just know there's going to be an entire film crew ready the moment she lifts onto her foils for the first time. Now, what is in this for sailors like us, aside from the obvious entertainment value of something like this? Projects like this actually do matter though. A lot of today's everyday sailing tech, carbon mass, self-tacking systems, even efficient hydrodynamics started as crazy high-end experiments. Ferrari's hypersail could push battery efficiency, sensor-based sail control, which I'm very excited about, and foil stability and things like that into the mainstream of sailing, and it'll get there a lot faster than it would have without Ferrari. If they can make foiling ocean travel stable and energy neutral, it could eventually trickle down into the boats you and I can actually buy. Maybe not next year, but someday soon. But let's be real, would you want a Ferrari sailboat? Can you imagine pulling into a marina in a bright red carbon spaceship with a mast? You'd have to wear matching racing gloves just to dock it. And what's the insurance quote going to look like on a boat like this? Yes, it's a 100-foot Ferrari with no engine that flies above the ocean. Good luck with that phone call. Still, the idea is very exciting. A self-powered, zero-emission, fully foiling ocean yacht backed by Ferrari's F1 engineering. This isn't just a vanity project. It's a signal that high-end sailing might be entering a whole new era. The same way Formula One pushed cars into the age of hybrid technology, this could be sailing's leap into the renewable, autonomous, hydro-aero future. And whether you love or hate Ferrari as a brand, you have to admit, it's nice to see someone with some serious resources pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the water. So what do you think? Would you ever trust a Ferrari that floats? Do you think this hypersail idea could trickle down into cruising boats over the years? Or is it just another billionaire science experiment? Drop a comment below. I want to hear what the sailing community thinks of this wild project. And if you're into speed with sails, you'll probably love this article we have called Beneteau First 36.7 Used Boat Review. In it, we dive down the rabbit hole of what makes this boat such a club favorite on race nights and why a used one might be just what you need to dethrone your local racer that keeps taking first year after year. A great read on a great boat. I'll leave a link in the description for you. If you like sailboat videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. It really helps us out, but also lets YouTube know that you're into this kind of stuff, so it'll show you more of it. And hit subscribe so that I can see you again next time.